You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. (sighs) (laughs) You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No. But she was in yesterday, working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? How do these birdwashing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Stop. Nobody check. Fuck you, Ryan People Logan. here respect the birders. Enjoy your Birder of the Year title anyone. while it lasts. I Ooh, just... shit. Okay. Ryan's got a rival. Time for your bath. I feel terrible for Eleanor, and I don't think it's getting any easier. If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Hey, Where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Respect to anyone that chooses to locomote for sport. 
can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh. Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. You're not alone. Sorry, Steph, but there can only be one jukebox hero. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. I couldn't ask for a better Scooby Squad. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past, Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my God, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now, to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. I'm genuinely worried that these were the best ideas you had. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the the effort. 
but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just going to try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how, and I don't know why yet, but I will find out. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. I'm sick of the lies, and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. William Bloom, huh? Yeah, he's the best. Good beer? Yep. Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super-powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose. They do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. Integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah. That's our motto. It... It's a motto. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Integrity. Unless it gets in the way of profit, then fuck integrity. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Typhon. to find out what Diane is really hiding. Does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could... It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. Typhon. 
even brought me here. And look where it got me. Damn them all. Wait. There's something else. I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Steph, how are you? So, what's your deal? I'm sorry? Are you single, semi-single, taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa, <laughs> was not expecting that at all. Um... blushing. I feel like I'm blushing. <laughs> no, you're cool as a cucumber. <laughs> That's good. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. See ya. chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh my god. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley, see if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions.
Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here. But if there is a seam somewhere, I see it most in Steph and Ryan. In my mind, when we're all together, I can imagine him in my place, and I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew. Or, if I choose instead, I can forget about Gabe and just accept, however improbably, that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. My weapon of choice. Okay, let me grab my hat. A dire rat joined your party. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. Still haven't gotten you open yet. Must be a key around here somewhere. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Steph, I will murder you. We're one step closer now. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses though. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win, right? I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. I know this is Ethan's copy, but I'm level 73 and I'm not stopping. I feel like I kept the hat in here. Only one way to find out. Huh. There it is. Yeah. I don't need to know what that was for. I think I know where you go. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Dork. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. I hope Ethan likes it. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. Uh -huh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. 
Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Maybe that key will finally reveal your secrets. This must have been Gabe's. That's a long list, and I bet he would have gotten through it. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? I didn't even know what to say when Charlotte gave this to me. How do you even respond to such a perfect gift? I'm really glad my advice helped. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. This feather separates the buskers from the bards. the bard ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs>